So Koga is our silverback gorilla. He is 30 years old. He was born in 1987 at the Bronx Zoo, and from there he went to the Memphis Zoo, <laughs> and then he came to Buffalo about 11 years ago, and he is the leader of our troop. So he has two adult females in his troop, and with them he's had three kids, a seven-year-old, a four-year-old, and a two-year-old. Koga recently had a routine physical exam, and there was a lot of planning that went into that. Part of the planning was training him to be ready for the exam. For the keeper side, we needed to be able to have a team of 12 people come in and help move him. He is almost 400 pounds. There was a lot of small areas to try to get him through when he was on the stretcher. We had to load him in and out of a van. So we needed to get keepers from all around the zoo to stop what they were doing and come over and help us to make sure that this was a really successful transition from the gorilla area up to the vet hospital and back. So we are doing a routine physical exam on him, which includes taking blood, doing radiographs, doing a dental exam, checking his eyes, his ears, um, doing a tuberculosis test. These are standard things that we would do with all primates here at the zoo. Um, they'll definitely like move his joints around, see if there's any arthritis. And because he is a silverback gorilla, a cardiac exam is very important. Uh, we work with the Great Ape Heart Project to make sure that he is heart healthy. So that is a big database that all of the zoos that have gorillas, they do cardiac exams on them. So they'll do an echocardiogram using an ultrasound and take a lot of measurements and get a lot of data, including blood pressure measurements, and then send them into a big database. Uh, for the longest time, gorilla hearts were compared to human hearts and they are very similar but also a gorilla isn't a human. Gorilla hearts are much bigger, so there is differences between them. So before we could tell what's wrong with a gorilla heart, we needed to know what was normal for a gorilla heart. So all of the zoos sent their data into the Great Ape Heart Project, and from there they can really look at all of the gorilla hearts, compare them, kind of see what's normal, what's not normal, what changes need to be made. We take body part measurements to see if our gorilla is overweight or underweight, or is it a small gorilla, is it a big gorilla, how does his heart size compare to his body size, what kind of diet is he on. Koga's last physical exam was about three years ago. So going into it, we really weren't sure what we were gonna be looking at. Um, so there was a lot of risk with bringing him up to the hospital and doing an anesthetic procedure, just because we weren't sure what his overall, overall health condition was. Was he heart healthy? We weren't really sure. Um, so that's why there's so much planning that goes into it. It's just because we wanna make sure that this was super safe for him, super safe for us. So once we got him up there, we were actually really pleased to see that there was nothing alarming that we found. His heart looked generally good. From there, we have to send all that data in to really see where he compares um, and, and where he compares to three years ago to see if there was any changes. Um, with the Great Eight Heart Project, they're looking at not only what's normal and abnormal, but how do we treat heart disease? How do we prevent heart disease? Um, so we are waiting to hear back on how he did um, as far as the heart exam goes. But overall, he was generally healthy.